Hello and welcome to today's module, Introduction to DMAIC Process Part 2, Measure Phase, by Lean Six Sigma Prowess, a company dedicated to educating the minds of tomorrow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about a five-step improvement process known as DMAIC. DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and control measure is the second phase of the DMAIC process. In this phase, we measure the process performance in its current state in order to understand the problem. The key output is a focused problem statement. Through data stratification, we are able to determine which areas of the process need to be analyzed in the next phase. Measure phase is two to four weeks in duration. To ensure good brainstorming during the analyze phase, all team members should be actively engaged at the Gamba during data collection. During the measure phase, the team spends the majority of their time at the Gamba. The four key steps in measure include 1. Design the data collection plan, identify the data collection points, what type of data will be collected, how it will be measured, and team expectations. A. Create a process map of all of the activities required to convert raw inputs into the finished output. Y. B. What are the critical factors of the process? C. The critical to quality diagram created in the define phase. C. For each point along the path that a deviation can occur resulting in a defect, list this as a waste point on the process map. D. Create the data collection plan based on the process map waste points, critical factors identified in the define phase using the CTQ, and brainstorm additional factors. Measurement systems analysis. For every measurement point, ensure the gauge reads the value accurately and precisely. For instance, a common gauge in process capability studies is a check wire. The check wire must be both precise and reliable. Prior to starting a process capability study, verify the check wire is not contributing significant weight variation between cup to cup by performing an MSA. In MSA, verify the gauge has high accuracy. When looking at several data points, accuracy refers to how close the data average falls within the known standard. A process with high accuracy will have most of the data points clustered around the target value. Whereas, in a low accuracy process the data points are away from the target value. Precision, when looking at several data points, precision refers to how close the data points falls in relation to each other. In other words, what is the variance? A high precision process will have little variance between the individual measurement points. Therefore, the data points will be clustered around each other. Measurement systems analysis, a gauge should have both high precision and high accuracy. If the gauge fails for either the data collection should halt, calibrate the gauge. If it can't be calibrated then the gauge should be replaced. Data measured by a bad gauge is bad data. And, should not be used for analysis. 3. Perform process capability studies and data collection. We will spend a considerable amount of time on this topic in our sub-module, Process Capability Studies. 4. Perform data stratification to derive solid focused problem statements. Move on to the next phase by getting approval from management. At the end of the measure phase, you will have completed several activities in order to complete the following tasks and objectives. Focused problem statements, measurement systems analysis, gauge R&R, Type 1, Bias and Linearity, Process Capability Studies, Lean Six Sigma Metrics, DPO, DPU, DPMO, and Sigma Level, and Revised Project Charter. We hope that you have enjoyed this introductory module. Please visit our website at http colon slash slash l6 sigma supportal.wix.com slash learn c for free for more lean six sigma modules and helpful VBA tools.